Yes, and I, I prepared a couple of introductions uh, for these bishops, and I think those are in my briefcase on the car. Uh, so I'll try to remember who they are. <laughs> Uh, Bishop Chris Epting started out in South Carolina, I believe, and uh, served as a priest for 16 years in Florida. Uh, before we called him to Iowa to be priest of the or bishop of the church here in 1988, uh, he did that for a little over a decade before being called to become the. Uh, uh, ecumenical and interreligious deputy for uh, uh, our presiding bishop Frank Griswold at that time. Uh, he has since retired from that, uh, served a little while as uh, interim dean at Trinity Cathedral in Davenport and is currently serving as assisting bishop in the uh, Diocese of Chicago. He got it all right, everybody. <laughs> uh, he has recently published a book, a uh, gospel novel, John Mark, which I uh, would say that those of us in Marshalltown are enjoying as a study group uh, this fall, uh, based on the gospel of Mark, and uh, I would highly recommend it. Bishop Alina Amakoya. Uh, was elected bishop last a year ago in July. Uh, prior to that, she was educated. She is originally from Swaziland. She's educated at the U University of Botswana, Lesotho, and Swaziland, uh, and then. Uh, continued studies in the Netherlands, uh, where she met some Kenyan that uh, <laughs> took her uh, uh, to Kenya for a number of years, where she worked in, uh, with government in plan uh, various planning roles, uh, and then uh, returned to Swaziland, uh, was uh, the Chief Executive Officer of the, uh, essentially of the City Council of the City of Manzini, which is the larger industrial city in Swaziland. Uh, became a priest, was ordained in 2005, 2006. Uh, and uh, uh, served as chaplain at the University of Swaziland, or Uniswa, as it's uh, called, uh, and uh, was a surprise. Uh, it, it was a surprise to uh, herself as well as uh, uh, a lot of the rest of the world that she was elected last year, uh, since she wasn't among the list of original nominees. And, uh, uh, so, uh, Mary Jane and I along with Paula and our bishop's uh, assistant, Julianne Alloway, had the privilege of going for her consecration last, last November. So we're very glad to have her back among us. So it was a surprise to everyone except the Holy Spirit, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we come before you with love and praise and adoration this night. We thank you for many blessings that you pour upon us each day. We thank you most of all for the gift of your Son, for the presence and power of his Holy Spirit in our lives and in our midst as your church. We thank you that we can gather around these tables for food and fellowship and gather later around your holy table for the sacrament of your Son's body and blood and to receive into our fellowship one who will join the Episcopal Church. So bless our food and those hands which have prepared it. Bless it all to our use and us to your loving service, for we pray in Jesus' name. 